Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Lissy Builds. For today's video, we are doing part two of the Sanderson Sisters Museum slash Cottage from the film Hocus Pocus. So this is the inside, the interior. Um, I already did the exterior in a previous video. If you want to watch that, I'll leave the link at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, I spent quite a bit of time doing the exterior and the video was just gonna be too long to do the exterior and the interior together. So I did it in two separate videos. Um, so I couldn't really find a floor plan online, so I was going mostly from memory and what was in the film and what is in The Sims also. Um, obviously the iconic cauldron right in the centre as you go through the door. And then in the film, I don't remember seeing stairs, I do remember seeing a ladder, but I didn't put a ladder in. So I did put stairs in, in the end and I can actually put them more towards the back wall a little bit later on. And I put the fireplace where the stairs are. Um, and I mean, it is a little bit more of my imagination than what is exactly to the film because it was just too hard to kind of figure that out from little pictures here and there and not quite telling what angle the picture was taken from where it was so the main thing I kept was the cauldron in the center and the book on the stand and everything else I just kind of did it as a whim and I wanted to make it functional as well so I needed to add a kitchen added a kitchen I needed to add a kitchen and then obviously you don't really see bathrooms within their cottage or museum for later on in the film. Um, so I just kind of added a bathroom to the side of the door. I put the bedrooms upstairs. I kept the upstairs completely open plan, but I did put a bathroom up there. Um, so hopefully you guys like how it turned out. Also towards the end is where I throw in like all the cobwebs and the cracks in the wall and all that to make it kind of look older and spookier. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've not got loads to talk about this video wise because I talked about the story and everything of the film, if you haven't already watched it um in the last video so i don't want to repeat myself loads also i hope you guys don't mind i have mentioned in a previous video that i've gone down to one video a week just for the moment um so fridays at 7 p.m uk time is when i'll be posting um it's just because things are crazy at the moment i'm in the middle of a house move obviously you've got halloween and well literally halloween will be the day after i post this i forgot what day halloween is guys that's how busy i am and how tired i am Halloween's the 30th, right? It's not the 31st. Or is it the 31st? It's the last day of the month, right? I'm going mad, guys. I swear I've been doing like 14 to 15 hour shifts. No days off, barely. Like, well, I've been getting like one day off here and there. And um, well, occasionally I grabbed a couple, but mostly it's just been like one day off. And with a house move on top of that, and obviously birthdays and Christmas and Halloween all that coming up. So it's just been a little bit chaotic, uh, which is why I've gone down to the one video a week. Um, I'm going to say probably... February to March onwards, I'll go back to two videos a week on Tuesdays and Fridays, but for the moment it'll just be Fridays. Um, again, usually it used to be that Tuesdays were like a base game only or limited pack build and Fridays were anything. I'm just kind of doing anything really at the minute. If you want to request a specific pack build, please feel free to send me a message, um, but it will be mostly like micro homes at the moment. Micro homes and like small homes, not huge homes, probably. I want to say one floor, but I might add it to two. Also, look guys, I'm getting better with the tool mod. I'm proper like chuffed with myself. I think this was the first time I kind of dragged stuff away from the wall. Um, now this was finished before the last video you guys watched was finished. So I may have done that in the last video, but this was where I actually first did it. And I was like, oh my God, I like brute moved the, wid uh, the, the widow, moved the mirror onto the fireplace and the book on the wall I moved onto the fireplace. And I was just like, well, well chuffed with myself that I got that. And it kind of looked decent. I kind of am liking this tool mod being able to do these things because just small touches make a big difference to the builds. And just for anybody who doesn't know, if I use the tool mod in any of my builds, you do not need the tool mod to be able to download the build because I'm not adding anything new to the build. It's just changing the position or the angle something's at, but it doesn't affect the build whatsoever. So you can still download it. Um, also, for anyone not aware, I have a shell challenge ongoing. The winner will receive either one game pack or two stuff packs of their choice. The deadline is November 18th, so still not till like middle to the end of next month. And there will be also separate to that, a giveaway of a kit. You do not need to take part in the shell challenge to win the kit. I'll leave also at the end of this video, a link to that so you can check out the details. Now you can either watch the video for some of the rules, but pretty much all the rules are, well, all the rules are in the video's description at the end. 
um, only some of the rules like the main kind of rules are in the video it's like a quick five minute video so feel free to watch it if you don't want to watch it just skip straight to the description and you can check all the rules there but yeah I kind of wanted to add something in for people who aren't maybe confident with building or just don't like building um, so that they've got a chance to win something as well and I thought you know what why not game pack stuff pack kit one of everyone well, no, one not one of everything because we're not doing an expansion pack but there will be an expansion pack giveaway soon guys I'm just gonna do that probably maybe just after Christmas I'm gonna say because I want to keep them kind of spread out like the giveaways and challenges and stuff I don't know if I'll do the expansion pack as a giveaway or if I'll do it as a shell challenge so let me know what you guys think or hmm, or could we like a shell challenge and a cast challenge because like I'm not into cast or any of that like I mean I'll watch it and stuff but I just don't, I don't want to personally build it um, and also I know a lot of people who use cars make them like with all the CC and all that stuff so I don't know I don't know if, if the people watching my builds are into cars so I'm thinking I'll keep it build related so it'll either be a shell challenge another shell challenge but not as small as the one I've just done the one that's in the process of you know still being done is still you know open for people to enter um, is a small shell challenge so feel free if you don't like big builds to give this a go because you know again small build it's like I think it is like 46 tiles or something obviously you can add terraces and stuff which will make it bigger but it is only like a small shell so you know I kind of thought if I make it smaller it might be easier for people like you know fitting well not fitting something but like for a lot of people I find they always say like you know they have all this extra room and they don't know what to do with it so I thought if I make it a tiny home they're not gonna have any extra room um so yeah and plus the last two shells I did were fairly well I did a really large shell a super large shell actually I didn't even attempt to furnish it I was like yeah I'm just gonna build the shell and let you guys do it because usually when I do a shell challenge I'll do like my version of it as well obviously I'm not entered into the shell challenge or anything but I was like yeah like uh, usually I'll do mine but I was like it was such a large shell I was like I'm not even gonna attempt that I'm just gonna let everyone else do that um here I was trying to figure out the um layout for it like I really like fact that realm of magic i can't speak to i was gonna say realm of magic but it's not realm of magic works really well and vampires realm of magic and vampires worked so so well for this build and also spooky stuff because of see the little raggedy tables and stuff the like the cloths on him so yeah i was very happy that i have those packs because i don't have all the packs because there's some packs that just have like one item in it that i want like spa day i will literally only get spa day for the little clutter item of the incense like there's nothing else in that pack that really I really want or you know screams for my attention um though I think that will be one of the next ones I get because basically all of the packs I have now have the items in it that I want and then all the other packs just have like maybe one or two items so I'm not really fussed what order I get the remaining in so I just kind of figured you know whenever I do a shell challenge I tend to just add myself and get myself something as well so like you know if the winner picks one game pack then I'll also get myself a game pack and if the winner of the kit picks obviously whatever kit they get if I don't have that kit I'll get that for myself as well because like I can you know I'm very lucky and very fortunate that I can afford to get them if I want to um but I just don't want to spend all that money <laughs> in one go for something that I'm not going to use you know like again just one item I don't think it's worth it to buy for one item so I tend to just get them in the sales or again if I'm doing a shell challenge then I'll do that for people as well um so yeah expect lots of shell challenges and stuff for me i know i don't do them that often i've only done the three so far but i definitely will be doing more of them in the new year um because i have a lot of fun doing them i love seeing what you guys create i'm thinking i might even like build a home that needs to be fixed up and then give you guys that shell to do so obviously you'll be deleting items and moving stuff um but yeah trying to feel i might make like a poll because i've just recently got the community tab so I'm, I'm if you can make polls on there i might make a poll and see what you guys prefer but i might make the poll once we've finished with this shell challenge because like don't want to do too much in one go because that can be overwhelming oh also if you download this build in this gap between the wall and that um what you call it, that thing there the railing with the the red the gold thing with the red i can't think what it's called you see it in like museums and stuff for your sim to be able to use the kitchen and get upstairs you'll have to delete that railing because I thought there might be one where it's like, you know, you just place it down. But I could only find it as a fence. Um, I presume you might have one that you can place down separately. Like the Get, Get Famous pack maybe. I don't have that pack yet though. And again, 
not worth downloading it for one item when I've got the fence. But yeah, if you download this build to make it functional to sleep and use the kitchen, you will need to delete that item. Um, unless you're just going to keep it as a museum on like a, what you call it, a community lot, then you could do that. You could do that. Imagine if you had like, oh my God, like, I wonder if like anyone's doing like, you know, the, the challenges in Kaz, is it? Where, or in gameplay? If someone was like actually playing like a hocus pocus build, like a ho hocus pocus gameplay, you know, like they have the museum or the cottage, either or, and then they have like the cat and everything. That would be well cool. If anybody's doing that, please let me know. I would love to like know how you're making it work. Um, yeah, and also if anybody has created the witches from Hocus Pocus, please feel free to leave me a comment down below with your gallery ID because I will definitely be checking that out. Um, because just iconic characters and again it's still not on Netflix guys I've been waiting and waiting it's always on Netflix that film is always it's like a classic it's a classic film Hocus Pocus is always on Netflix and it's not been this year so I've just watched it like online very sad moment guys I couldn't watch it on my big screen but oh well there are more important things in life on top of that like right now I should I should be moving stuff right so we're in between two apartments my like laptop and all this is in the original apartment but all of our stuff is pretty much in the new apartment so I'm just like oh my god the wi-fi is not gonna be moved over for a few weeks so I'm trying to get like as much building and voiceovers done as I can to cover me until the wi-fi moves otherwise I'm gonna have to like I'm gonna have to like well no, I could do the voiceover and then take my laptop somewhere to upload it so no we're fine we're good so here is the end build so I just showed a quick bit of the outside but not all the way around because obviously you've seen that in a previous video if you've not seen the previous video definitely go check that out and also make sure to check out the shell challenge which the link will be posted at the very end of this video um, I hope you all enjoyed this if you did please leave a big thumbs up I'm sorry for my ramblings weren't quite about the build today just lots going on um, and I was going to say something else, but I can't remember. But like, how cool do these cobwebs look? And like in a dark right, as you can see, can see, I replaced all of the lights with candles to make it more spooky. Upstairs is a bit more brighter and open. I wish I'd cluttered it up more. Um, but yeah, you don't really see much of upstairs in the film. I want the main focus to be downstairs. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.